Hey what's up guys, this is Chris Nowoski for Rutgers 247 Sports and I'm here to offer a little preview for the Rutgers and Penn State men's basketball matchup at the Rack in Piscataway on Sunday at 2.30. The two programs meet for the 70th time and on the hardwood dating back to 1922 with Penn State holding a 39-30 advantage in the series. Nittany Lions sport an 8-6 record overall, 0-1 in the Big Ten with a loss to Northwestern on Tuesday 87-77. Rutgers comes in 11-3, also 0-1 in the Big Ten, losing on Tuesday to Wisconsin, 7-2-52. Penn State is led by 6-2 junior guard and team captain Shep Gardner, who leads the team with 14.1 points per game and has 13 career games with 20-plus points. Gardner leads a young Nittany Lions team with no senior on the roster, led by two freshmen who were former teammates in forward Lamar Stevens and guard Tony Carr who averaged 12.4 and 11.6 points per game. Sophomore Josh Reeves leads the Big Ten steals with 24 despite only playing 9 games and averages 8.8 .8 points per game. 6'9 redshirt freshman center Mike Watkins rounds out the starting five for the Nittany Lions and leads the conference to 46 block shots on the year. Watkins also leads the team with 8.4 rebounds per game and is fourth on the team in scoring with 10.4 points per game. And as for Rutgers, head coach Steve Puckle said on Friday that star point guard Corey Sanders is fine and will play against the Nittany Lions on Sunday after he practiced on Friday. Sanders sprained his ankle in the second half versus Wisconsin earlier in the week. Guard Nigel Johnson leads the team in scoring at 12.6 points per game and Deshaun Freeman is second with 12.0. Freeman leads the Scarlet Knights with 9.0 rebounds per game and, and as the team ranks 8th in the country with 43.29 rebounds per game and 10th in rebounding margin with a plus 10 advantage. Sanders has become more of a complete point guard and is 4th in the team in scoring with 10.2 points per game and, and has dished out 53 assists. Mike Williams started against Wisconsin but has primarily come off the bench and has been a steady force of consistency. The Brooklyn native is third on the team with 11.9 points per game and is first on the team with 26 made three-pointers, shooting at 40% from behind the arc. Graduate, transfer, and senior CJ Geddes hasn't been as dominant as he was in non-conference play the last two games, but has averaged 8.3 points per game and is a big body inside. Rutgers needs five wins in the Big Ten to finish the regular season with an above 500 record, and this game against Penn State is one of the more winnable ones in the conference compared to Wisconsin, Michigan State, Maryland, and Michigan. If Rutgers is able to play a full 40 minutes, I expect them to come back victorious. For all of us at Rutgers 247 Scarlet Insiders and the 247 Sports Network, have a, have a happy new year.